Hi everyone, this is Poonam with WeFit. We have transformed more than 5,000 people and we are still counting. Join our fitness program now. The progress starts only when you come out of your comfort zone. So take that one step forward towards your desired goal. And remember, you are not alone. We are here to help you through your fitness journey. In our today's video, we are going to talk about the easiest, fastest and the smartest ways to lose belly fat. Now let's just find out why do we get fat and the answer is very simple. When our body, when our intake is more than what our body can digest, it starts storing the excess into glycogen stores and once these glycogen stores are full, the excess starts getting accumulated in the form of fat. So to lose fat, we need to deplete the glycogen stores and tap the fat. So let's find out how. Start your day with two to three glasses of warm water or maybe room temperature water, freshen up and then start your day with 15 minutes of cardio activities. These cardio activities, you can do any sort of cardio like running, jumping, skipping, whatever you feel comfortable with, just do that. Now, when we are doing cardio activity in the morning on empty stomach, now our glycogen stores, they are already depleted because, you know, it's just been like 10 to 12 hours since you had your last meal. So glycogen stores are empty. The moment you do your exercise, the body starts converting fat into energy. And so that is the simplest and smartest way of working out. So the morning workout will give you results which is equivalent to one hour of cardio activity in the evening, right? So just try out and do 15 minutes of cardio activity. And in case if you feel little lost which activities to do, let me just share a quick flow with you guys so that you can practice that in your home. Let's find out.
After our exercise, now it's very important that you eat healthy food and most important, include protein in your diet because protein keeps you fuller for long and also, you know, it just kills all your cravings throughout the day, which we you keep getting between, you know, in between your meals. So that will help you in cutting down your cravings and also protein cuts down your fat and builds up your muscle. So don't forget to involve protein into your diet. Now, next point, which is very, very important, which almost like all of us ignore it most of the times, and that is chew your food very nicely. Now, when we are doing it, now, you know, as we all know that it is always said that drink your solids. Yes, you have to do that. Chew your food very nicely and make sure that you are, you know, observing your body when you're doing that. When I say observing your body, so when you're eating your food, make sure that you're not doing any other activity during that time because when you chew your food nicely, half of your digestion is done in your mouth itself. So just imagine your body will have to, you know, give little less effort to digest your food. And once your food is digested properly, your metabolism will improve, which will further help you in losing your weight fast, right? And make sure that you don't drink water after your meals, because the moment we eat food, we are like a body has got you know digestive fire the fire is you know take the fire actually takes place in our digestive system and that fire is the main fire which helps you in digesting your food properly but if we drink water on top of our meals then this fire will stop and the food will not be digested properly so make sure that you just don't drink water you know just after your meal maybe after a gap of one hour you can have your water right do keep this point in mind so after that whenever you are done with your food and if it is possible for you all try to sit in vajrasana because the moment you sit in vajrasana all the energies of our body they are directed towards your stomach and that is what we want we want that our food should digest properly because all our you know other systems they develop they depend a lot on how your food is digested in your body so the moment we sit in vajrasana all the energy is directed towards your stomach and the food is digested properly right and also in case if you have any problem of bloating in digestion that all will be sorted out so make sure try to sit in vajrasana after your meals right now again very important point whenever you are into you know uh, whenever you plan to do your weight loss journey now increase your water intake now if we are drinking like two to three liters of water you can drink maybe three to four liters of water because water again we all know the benefits of it and along with all those benefits water will keep you fuller for long and will also keep your gut clean which you know flushes out all the toxins from your body and you will have a very good digestion system which again will lead to you know improving your metabolism so increase your water intake right and after that you need to detox your body daily now you all must have been thinking how is it possible but yes now as we clean our house we clean all our surroundings so just imagine similarly you have to clean your body daily now this is again very simple you don't need to go for any you know detox plans or something detox is very simple you can do it with normal water also and with your food also so make sure you detox your body daily because detox just clears out your body from inside and keeps you you know light and happy which further leads to weight loss so after that now again one point which is intermittent fasting intermittent fasting i don't know why but it has become a taboo these days but if you talk about yoga and ayurveda it's a normal way of living like we uh, you know it is suggested that you should practice daily intermittent fasting so you may feel it difficult but you can just start with maybe you know 10 to 12 hours in the beginning and slowly and slowly you can increase the time 
right so it may sound difficult in the beginning but believe me guys it is just not difficult try to adopt it as a way of lifestyle in your life right because intermittent fasting not only you know gives you helps you in losing weight but it also gives you it also you know helps your body to heal all your internal organs it keeps you healthy from inside as well not only about your weight loss but it heals all your organs and at the end most important try to take a good sound sleep of 6 to 8 hours 6 to 8 hours of sleep is very important and make sure that you get good quality sleep because good quality sleep rejuvenates all your body cells and your body's performance increases so that was all about our today's video and we hope that this will be beneficial to you and if it does then do let us know in comment section and share it with your friends and do let us know what should be the topic of our next video see you in our next video till then Be fit with we fit